Good morning and welcome to the third Friday of Lent. Today we're exploring the second instance of the Passion Chorale in Bach's St. Matthew Passion. And this one comes almost immediately of after the previous instance, which came just on the heels of Jesus revealing to his disciples that they would all be offended by him that evening. The text of the one we heard last week is, Remember me, my Savior, my shepherd, to take thou me. The source of every blessing wilt thou forever be. By thine abundance nourished, with milk and honey blessed, thy spirit brings me comfort and heavenly joy and rest. And it's in E major, it sort of sounds very happy. And then we have a scene, again, the evangelist is singing directly the words of the Gospel of Matthew. And the characters are represented by various other voices. And in the only bit of the evangelist or the biblical text between the previous Passion Chorale and this next one, is this following text, which I'm just going to read for you. Peter then gave him an answer and said to him, Though all men be offended because of thee, yet will I, Lord, never be offended. And Jesus says to him, Verily do I say to thee this night, be ere the cock croweth thou, Peter thrice will deny me. And Peter goes on to say, I will never deny you, and so do all the others. And then we have the second instance of the Passion Chorale. And this sort of reads, the, it, it sort of takes the temperature of the room. It's, it's gone down a little bit. And because of that, it's exactly a half step lower than the previous one was. So the previous one was in, and this is a half, this is an E flat major. much debate about keys and sort of their various affects or emotions, but I, I personally certainly feel that is very warm, and, and E flat is sort of more sparse and more and I think it's it's sort of a reflection on the Peter saying, no, I'm not going to betray you, when we all full well know that later, somewhere in here, he will betray him. And, and I, I wonder if it's something that we sort of reflect on, that even when we say we won't betray God, maybe we do. I certainly know I do. And the text of this chorale is, I stand here close beside thee, thine anguish I would share. O oh Lord, do not despise me in this thy heart's despair. For when thy heart is drooping in death's lust agony, my arms will be about thee and hold thee close to me. And that text sort of echoes what Peter was saying, but yet it's in it's a half step down, and it's in E flat, it's in a flat key rather than a sharp key. And it's I, I think it's really subtle but beautiful the way Bach uses tonality to echo that, yes, we are saying that we want to be beside Jesus and help him and take his sorrow away from him, but yet we know that we will probably betray him again, and of course he'll forgive us, but, but I hope you enjoy this reflection today on the second instance of the Passion Chorale coming right after Peter and Jesus have the conversation about
We'll see you next week for part four.